it's me. Welcome back to Sobriety for Beginners. Because I know that I am. I am just a beginner in all this. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. Um, it's one of those situations of be careful what you wish for. Because, um, you know, before a week ago, you know, life was just kind of slow. It was taking its time. And, you know, everything was just... You know, going at its turtle pace and so I kept finding things to keep myself ba you know busy and working on my little garden and doing little projects around the house and um, I even started picking up um, I decided that I was going to uh, repair some old Game Boys so I went online and I bought some broken Game Boys from you know, the original ones from 1989 and um, ones that, that the screens weren't working or the speaker wasn't working or anything like that. And uh, I was gonna take it apart and I was gonna fix them. So I bought three or four, I bought four of them actually. And uh, the first one I got out and the screen would turn on but I had a bunch of lines and stuff like that in the screen. But um, I got it, you know, got my soldering gun and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to fix things like that. And I fixed it and it works and my kids love it and they play with it all the time. And um, it doesn't really bother me that they're playing with it because obviously, you know, if they break it, it's no big deal. I didn't spend that much money on it. But um, it's cool that they get to play with something so nostalgic like that, you know? And uh, my son loves to play Pac-Man. That's his favorite game is Pac-Man. Um, so I was trying to find a bunch of things that were just keeping me busy, you know? And then all of a sudden, you know, um, my state finally decided what they were gonna do with school and you know start sending everybody back and then all of a sudden it was like a rush to hurry up and get everything done and my husband is a teacher so he had to uh, go back to work and he was actually changing classrooms and so there was a big rush to get him out of you know his old classroom get him into his new classroom get the new scheduling done and He's got all of his work that he needs to do as far as lesson plans and things like that. And then, of course, my son is now going back to school. And I know a lot of people are, you know, have their own opinions on it, but he needs to go back to school. He One, he misses it. He keeps asking me all the time, like, Mommy, when can I go back to school? And I'm like, soon, buddy, you know. Um, and he needs the social aspect of it, you know. He needs to be around other six-year-olds. He needs to play with other six-year-olds. He needs to have the maturity level, you know, of a six-year-old. And, um, so then it was a rush to, now we got to get all the school supplies, excuse me, <clears throat> school supplies. And then we've got our list of all the things that we have to get from the teacher. And, um, it was like a mad rush to hurry up and get all these things done. And, you know, just trying to, you know, once again, trying to live just life on top of that. Like I've got my normal job that I have to do. And then on top of that, we've got, you know, feed them dinner, play with them, and give them school, or um, get them in the shower, and, and like life all of a sudden was just like, hurry up and go, 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 go. So be careful what you wish for, because um, it was pretty slow for a long time, and then all of a sudden it was like a mad rush, you know, to get all this stuff done, but um, it was good. You know, we, we got to, you know, go through it, and we got everything set up and we got everything to go, but I felt bad because I kept pushing everything else on the back burner, you know? Um, it was basically, I was at the point of whatever was screaming for mommy's attention first, got mommy's attention first. And everything else just kind of got like pushed off to the side, like I'll do that later, or I don't have time for that now. And that also included my sobriety too, you know? I didn't drink or anything, but I stopped I didn't go to an AA meeting last week um, because we just had a lot going on and my poor sponsor, she's like, all right, so when are we going to meet? And we finally come up with a time to meet and I accidentally slept through it because I don't know how I slept through it. Um, and I felt so bad. I felt so bad that she was there waiting for me in our spot that we were supposed to meet and I completely missed it um, just because I've just been so exhausted and um, like I've put everything on the back burner because it's it's at a point of like whatever's screaming for my attention first gets my attention first <laughs> and um, I need to make a point to continue to you know keep doing it all the time and I 
know, you know, like I said, it's, you know, it's one of those situations of be careful what you wish for, you know, because, you know, life was boring and slow. And then all of a sudden, you know, it was like mad rush to get all this stuff done because, it, you know, school's in a week and I still have to get clothes and, sh and shoes and, um, set up times for, you know, people to pick my son up after school because I'll still be working, you know, and, you know, get a babysitter in the afternoon and set up after school care and all that stuff. And, um, I put my sobriety in the back burner and I feel bad because like I said I didn't get to go to any meetings. I missed out on meeting with my sponsor and it was just hard. It was rough. So I got to get back to it. I got to find a way to, and, and she mentioned it and it was like the perfect idea. Um, she said, I want you to find a day of the week where you can just sit down and commit to, you know, talking with her, meeting with her, you know, one day of the week that you can just say, this is my time to be with my sobriety. Um, so I messaged her back and I was like, it's probably gonna have to be like Saturday mornings when everybody's still sleeping um, or like Sunday in the afternoon uh, when it's time for everybody to go to bed. Um, just because, you know, once school does start, then it's gonna be helping with homework and all that stuff. And so once again, it's, it's whoever's screaming for mommy's attention first gets mommy's attention. And so it's hard to, you know, commit myself to, you know, somebody else's attention as well. So I liked that idea. I really liked that idea of having to be like, no, this is Saturday morning is mommy's time. So everybody else needs to chill out because this is my time Saturday morning, or this is my time Sunday night or whatever, whatnot, you know? Um, so that way I can still have my moment you know, my time for sobriety, because if you don't keep working it, you know, it's just, you're going to fall flat on yourself and I'm just going to keep falling flat on myself. So it was a rough week. It was, it was a lot going on, but we made it through <laughs> and it's just going to keep getting busier and it's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that everyone's going back to school. I'm glad that there's finally a routine again. I'm glad that there's, you know, some normality. Uh, building back up in our lives because it was getting really um, there was a big slump you know everybody was getting a little stir crazy and everyone was going nuts without that schedule and I really truly believe everybody needs a schedule in their life because if you don't have it then it's difficult so but I'm glad that everyone's going back so I'm excited I'm excited for everyone so hope everyone else is having a good week and I will talk to you soon